Greetings, this is Jerry Revere of the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video describes how to overcome a lost or unknown WebLM password for license administration based on two specific use cases. There have been instances where customers have lost their WebLM password or the customer contact is not available who has the current password. Avaya has been asked to change it to permit access. A tool is available to reset the existing password to a default. This tool is available in System Platform 6.0 after installation of Service Pack 1 and all subsequent releases. There are two use cases where this tool should be used. Use case number one. The customer has lost the password and changes to licensing need to be made. This case also applies if the customer wants a password set to a default that they can change using the WebLM GUI and manage themselves. The second use case is the customer contact that knows the password is not available and Avaya or some other resource needs to modify something within WebLM licensing, but the contact wants to retain their original password. The tool we're talking about is called WebLM underscore password and is located in the console domain. The instructions that follow will demonstrate its use and capabilities. The tool can only be run with root level access permission. This tool addresses both use cases. Now let's look at how the tool works. I have logged into the CLI of the system platform console domain and have became the root user. I have entered the WebLM password command without any options. The command returns the options available. Those options are Reset and Restore. We will start with the Reset option which sets the password to a known value of admin01. The Reset option has provided a password that can be used to access the WebLM GUI to provision licenses as needed. Pointed out on the screen is the file where the existing password is stored. That password may be known or unknown and if it is known the tool will be shown later to restore that existing password to illustrate use case number two. If the task was to only to permit the customer to provision a new known password that will be done as another action in the web LM GUI. We will see that process demonstrated now. I have now logged into the CDOM web interface and selected the license management link and pushed the button launched WebLM license manager. The license manager has opened and I have logged in using the password that was defaulted to admin01. I could perform license management at this point but I am just changing the password as if I was doing this action at the customer request. As shown the WebLM admin forces a re-login using the new password. The customer can now use and administer WebLM using this new password. The last portion I'll be showing today will need you to imagine that the customer contact is not available and we do not want to change the known password permanently but still need to assist the customer with their licensing needs. Since you are imagining things pretend that I just ran the command and reset the password to admin01. I have logged into WebLM administration using that defaulted password and performed whatever licensing provisioning needs the customers may have. At this point I would return the password back to the original that the customer had in place. This is simply done by returning to the CLI and entering the command WebLM underscore password restore. The system responds with restored customer WebLM password file. I have just completed my example of the second use case that I had previously noted. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.